in this video we will give you a demonstration of the dry powder magnetic particle method here is the AC yoke the first test is to check the lifting capacity of the AC yoke so here we go this is a 10 pound weight the test is successful that means the yoke is good to go the next step is to check the light level on the surface of the part being inspected you can see that uh, the light level is more than 1000 lux and that is acceptable here we check the magnetic flux intensity or the magnetic flux adequacy using a pi gauge here we go and you can see very clearly that the lines which are normal and at 45 degrees to the magnetic flux are very clear and the line that is parallel to the magnetic field is not visible. Now we are ready to do the magnetic particle inspection on these two plates. We place the yoke, apply the dry particles and have the yoke on and then what I will do is I will use the blower to remove any excess particles and you can see the indication starts to show up. Here is the indication in this plate which is right at that location. The indication is about uh, 6 to 7 millimeters long and it's very clear which is right here. And then I'll go to the second plate, do the same process, apply the magnetic field, sprinkle the particles and then remove the excess particles from the plate and then the indication shows up very clear here is the indication and the length of the indication in this case is 22 millimeters again it's right there and it's about 22 millimeters the dry powder inspection is very simple easy to use one of the main advantages of the dry powder is that it can be used at high temperatures up to 600 degrees and uh, again the most important things in this inspection are to make sure the yoke is good and there is enough light on the part being inspected. Now we will go to the next two videos which will be on the wet empty. The first one will be on wet visible empty and the second one will be on the wet fluorescent empty. Thank you.